Ohio State four at Penn State three. Um, is is that where you're going? You going back to yeah? You're going to Happy Valley. Going to Happy Valley. Um, excited about it. You know, like both teams are not like it's a top five matchup yet. Um, Ohio State, we had them last week, and they really struggled against Nebraska, who, by the way, got beat by like 50 the week before by at Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. So, you know, Ohio State is banged up on the O-line. They struggled to run the ball. I still think they're super talented, and they can win the national title. They're really good on defense. Mm-hmm. You got Penn State. I think, from what I heard, that Drew Aller is expected to play. They're optimistic, at least at this point of the week, that he will play. Um, but they're going to they'll play the backup a lot, Bo Prabula, because he's a more dynamic runner in what they do. But neither coach, especially James Franklin, but neither coach has done well in, in big game top five matchups. I mean, the records are really bad. And if you're looking at it as a Penn State fan, if you're like, man, if we're ever going to beat this team, it's not like Ohio State's bad, but Ohio State did not look good last week at all. Well, Will Howard, the quarterback, um, had uh, an interesting soundbite. Let's play it and get your reaction to it. This is what he had to say about playing Penn State this week. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I cannot wait. It's uh, going to be a homecoming for me. I grew up a Penn State fan. I wanted to go there my whole life. They didn't think I was good enough. But uh, I guess we'll see next week if I was. Wow. What do you think? Sign me up. This is good stuff, right? You got a Pennsylvania kid coming back home. You know, he's had a really good career. Won a Big 12 title for K-State. You know, he's played pretty well. I mean, talking to, like, we did a big story on The Athletic just that went up today about talking to coaches who played both. And he was good against Oregon. He was, and he was good against Iowa. And Iowa's a tough defense. They're super well coached. And so I think he has it in him. Um, you know, I do feel like they have to unlock the run game. The thing that would concern me if I was most if I was an Ohio State fan is Penn State has super twitch, twitchy defensive linemen. Abdul Carter, I'm not saying he's Micah Parsons, but he's but he's of that ilk, of that kind of explosiveness. Mm. And Ohio State's offensive line, that is the weak spot right now. So fortunately, you have a big quarterback who is pretty mobile. Um, and they do a lot of funky stuff, right? You'll see the tight end, you know, you'll see 44 line up all over the place. Um, I'm fascinated to see how this plays out. Cause I mean, I know Ohio state lost to a good Oregon team and a tough place to play coming out of that. They were still my pick to win the national title. They did, you know, my knees buckled after watching them a little last week though. Um, We'll see what we'll see what Ryan Day's team has this week on the road. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free.